Hello everyone, you are watching Services Ground. In this video, we will discuss about typography. So the question is what actually is typography? Typography is the art of arranging letters and text in a way that makes the copy legible, clear and visual appealing to the reader. Typography involves font style, appearance and structure which aims to elicit certain emotions and convey specific messages. In short, typography is what brings the text to life. Typography has a special place in the world of design. It dramatically impacts the way in design field. It makes a look design busy or clean. Why is typography important? Typography is so much more than just choosing beautiful fonts. It's a vital component of graphic design. Good typography will establish a strong visual hierarchy, provide a graphic balance to the app, website, images, social media content, photography, flyers, business cards, presentations, and more. Typography should guide and inform your users, optimize readability and accessibility, and ensure an excellent user experience. It is everywhere we look. In the books we read, on the websites we visit, in mobile apps, even in everyday life, on product packing, advertisements, and television commercials. Simply put, Typography is the style or appearance of text. It can also refer to the art of working with text. Something you certainly do all the time if you create documents or other projects for work, school, or yourself. Typography can be an intimidating subject, but it does not have to be. You only need to know a little to make a big difference in the stuff you do every day. There are three basic kinds of typeface. Serif, sans serif, and decorative. Serif fonts have little stocks called serifs attached to the main part of the letter. Because of their classic look, they are good choice for more traditional projects. They are also common in books print, publications like magazines and newspapers. Sans serif fonts don't have the extra stock. Hence the name, which is French for without serif. This style is considered cleaner and more modern than serif fonts. Also, it tends to be easier to read on computer screens, including smartphones and tablets, and also on TV screens. Display fonts also known as decorative that come in many different styles, like script, black letter, all caps, and just plain fancy. Because of their decorative nature, display fonts are best for small amount of text, for example, titles and headers and more graphic heavy designs. To keep the interface clean and streamlined, a good designer will never use more than three fonts and keep decorative fonts to minimum. Most user interface designers will pair serif fonts with sans serif, such as putting main body text in serif font and putting your title in a sans serif font. Hierarchy is used to guide the reader's eye to whatever is important. In other words, it shows them where to begin and where to go next using different levels of emphasis. Establish hierarchy is simple. Just decide which element you want to read to notice first, then make them stand out. High level items are usually larger, bolder, or different in some way. Remember to keep it simple and stick to just few complementary styles. Leading is the space between lines of text, also known as line spacing. If you are not sure how much line space to use, the default is usually fine. The goal is to make your text as comfortable to read as possible. Too much or too little spacing can make it unpleasant for the reader. Tracking is the overall space between characters, sometimes called character spacing. Most programs let you condense or expand this depending on your needs. In some designs, you might adjust your tracking to create a certain artistic effect. It can also help you fix fonts that are poorly spaced to begin with. Kerning is the space between specific characters. Unlike tracking, it varies over the course of the word because each letter fits together differently. Some fonts have what we call bad kerning, that making certain letters look improperly spaced. If a font you are using had bad kerning, it is best to cut your loses and choose something else. 
Alignment is the process of unifying and composing text, graphics and images to ensure there is equal space, size and distances between each element. Many user interface designers create margins to ensure that their logo, header and body of the text are aligned with each other. When aligning your user interface, it's good practice to pay attention to industry standards. For example, aligning your text to the right will seem counterintuitive for readers who read left to right. Color is one of the most exciting elements of typography. This is where designers can really get creative and elevate the interface to a new level. Text color, however, is known to be taken lightly, but getting it wrong can result in messy interface and text that clashes with the side colors. Often designers will test this by viewing the text in grayscale and making tweaks if the text is too dark or too light against the background color. Well cropped text can mean the difference between an ordinary project and an extraordinary project, even if you are just getting started with design. All it takes is an interest in typography and you will start to notice more, see more and be able to do more in your own work. We hope you enjoyed learning the basics of typography.